I wasn't at all interested in research when I came to UK. People told me that as a pre-med I should do research, but I had only really known of like bench research and that just wasn't my thing. I didn't enjoy it. And I'm actually an author. I've written like previous fantasy novels and there was an article about me in UK Now and it said I wanted to be an oncologist. And Dr. Nathan Vanderford in the Cancer Center stumbled upon this article by chance or fate, I don't know, and reached out to me and said, I want a student who is interested in cancer and has writing skills, would you want to work with me? And I said, oh my gosh, yes. And so working with Dr. Vanderford has had a great impact on me. I didn't know that Kentucky had some of the highest cancer numbers in the entire country. And so working with him and working on this research has made me realize how much research like this is needed for our state in particular. This was a experiment that Dr. Vanderford had done with various schools around Appalachia, Kentucky. He went and kind of presented a brief cancer intervention, just a little PowerPoint presentation. They took a pretest and a post-test to see if their cancer knowledge improved, just in that short intervention. And we found that there was a dramatic increase in cancer knowledge, even from a short 30 to 40 minute presentation. And so we thought, if this can happen in this short amount of time, imagine what can happen if something like this is integrated into schools long term. We're working with the UK College of Education right now and we've developed some cancer curriculum and the curriculum is finalized and this semester and next semester we're hoping to integrate it into Kentucky schools and have Appalachia Kentucky teachers use this curriculum to hopefully decrease the cancer disparity in the area. You hear about students who are first authors on papers and you think, oh, well, that could never be me. But then suddenly it was, and it meant so much to me to see something come from my work. Being first author on a research paper still kind of feels a little surreal to me. It's an opportunity that not a lot of undergraduates get. So I definitely also feel very thankful that I have a faculty mentor that was willing to teach me the writing process and how to publish a paper. But personally, to me, being first author is important because it kind of serves as like a time capsule of my time here at UK. Being involved in Dr. Hannon's lab it has been a part of my life for three years and I've spent very, very many hours in the lab. Having that to look back on after I graduate and leave UK, I think it's gonna be really cool. Our lab studies phthalates, which are a class of chemicals that humans are exposed to on a daily basis. And because they are so commonly used in cosmetics, women have an increased exposure profile, which is why we look at their effects on female fertility. Essentially what we found is when we treat these follicles with this chemical mixture, ovulation is decreased at every dose that we tested. So this is really cool because this is the first time that phthalates have been seen to directly inhibit ovulation. It can be overwhelming at first, but after a while you find yourself teaching new undergraduates that come through the lab, which I also think is very rewarding because to me that means that I truly understand the science that we're doing and that is very rewarding. I got an email one day that was, we're looking for people to help with research and it involves ankle sprains. And I thought, wow, this is so exciting to me. I love orthopedics. I did orthopedic internships in high school, and so I knew this was up my alley. My research mentors have been a huge impact in my life. Kyle has been kind of the main one that I've worked with a lot. and. If it wasn't for him trusting in me throughout the years, I don't think I would be where I'm at right now. Having mentors not only guide you along the path, but they're also there to pick you up when you're not feeling your greatest or when things go wrong. Being first author is, is special. It proves to yourself that you're able to do such a thing. And you have to get the data and synthesize it and figure out what the results are. And so knowing that you started something from the ground up, it was very rewarding. The paper looked at the prescribing rates for opioids and NSAIDs and the referral rate for physical therapy for an ankle sprain coming from a primary care physician or an office-based physician. What we were looking at was to see if we could see a trend of what was being prescribed to these patients and if they were getting a resource like physical therapy. The clinical guidelines suggest rice, rest, ice, compression, and elevation, and then use of NSAIDs if, 
it's needed for acute care. And so what we found was that a lot of patients are getting an NSAID prescription or even an opioid prescription and are filling that opioid prescription for an ankle sprain. It's something that really doesn't need to have an opioid prescription. They're not getting prescriptions to go to physical therapy, which can help work on range of motion and get them strengthening and get them back to their activities faster. But I'm a very type A personality where I want things done and I plan out my events. I want to know what's coming next and research doesn't work like that. <laughs> so I really had to, to grow in that aspect of life and I love patient care and I love working with patients and so the most rewarding thing for me now is seeing my patients grow and my patients being able to get back to their activities and seeing how our research is impacting them thought of joining a lab as an undergraduate can be kind of intimidating. My experience and in the experience of all my friends here at UK that also do research, the faculty mentors here are honestly incredible and they understand that the topics that you're going to be learning and the things they will be teaching you is brand new to you and they're very willing to teach you if you're willing to learn. The UK has so many options in research and so it's okay to work in one lab and realize that it wasn't for you and go find something else that you're passionate about. It may not be what you originally thought you wanted to work at and you may go a completely different path and find something that you're really passionate about. Even if you think that it might not be for you, do it, try it. Take a semester, maybe a year. If you decide that it's not for you, that's okay, at least you had the experience, but there's a chance you'll find something that you really love.